All right, hello and welcome to the first video uh, of the series where I will show you how to make a Chrome extension. And in this episode, we're just going to learn the manifest.json. So what a manifest.json is, is just a file um, kind of telling Chrome what your extension is about and what version it is, what name it has, stuff like that. So manifest.json. So inside this JSON file, I want to create an object. Then we want to make, um, we want to add the basics. So the basics are version name, a manifest version name, version, and a little description. Um, so I'm just going to copy this. Oopsie. All right, so version three, that's good. Um, we want the latest version, which is three. Um, we're going to call our extension like a YouTube shorts remover, because that's what we're going to make later. Version one is good. And um, fuck, I'm having, I'm having some trouble. <laughs> um, rem removes dumb short videos so <laughs> yeah i don't like them them short videos anyway so once we added this we can add some more stuff um but really i would just suggest adding this and then let's add it to chrome so to add the extension to chrome you just manage the extensions and then you gotta press the developer mode up here so developer mode load unpacked and then let's see where we're supposed to be tutorial there. So whatever folder you made for your extension, select that folder. And here, here we go. YouTube shorts remover removes dumb short videos. Perfect. Um, but it's kind of boring. It doesn't have an icon like everything else. So let's add some icons. The way we do that is just icons. And then, fuck, and then an object like that. And then we need to supply multiple icons. The reason for this is because, as you see here, the, the Chrome store uses 128 pixels, um, then the 48 and 16. So we need like all of these. And also they usually have 32. I don't know why. Um, Windows wants a 32 pixel one. So you're gonna need like four different image files. Uh, let's just make a folder, icons. In this folder, I already I've already made my icons, so they're here. So I'm just gonna drag those in there. Um, so yeah, icons. Then we just do 16 and the file path, which is icons slash remove shorts 16.png. And I'm just gonna copy that like that. Um, then we have 32, uh, 48, fuck. 48, and 128. And just remember to make it like that so it works. Perfect. Now we should have our icons. Let's check when we reload. And there we go, there's a nice little icon. Perfect. Uh, we can also add stuff like, you know, an author, if you want to do that. Uh, author. Rumiaco. Like that. Perfect. Um, you're also going to need permissions. So, permissions. And what permissions are, it's basically what different APIs, like Chrome APIs you want to use. So if you look, I'll, I'll, I'll put this uh, link in the description. Uh, you have a bunch of different, like, you know, active tab, alarms, background, all types of permissions. Um, so we're just going to add some basic ones, like, um, where was it? Uh, storage, that just makes it so we can store stuff on the uh, the, and it's a list, by the way. Storage. Um, let's just do web navigation and tabs. So these are like pretty common ones that you're just gonna have. 
um, oops, storage. And yeah, this just lets you store stuff. This lets you on events that is web navigation, like opening a new tab or not opening, no, going to a new website or something like this. And this lets you change the tab. So this is also, if you open a tab, you get can access this in that one. Or if you want to change something about the tabs, uh, you can do it with that one. Yeah, perfect. I'll see you guys in the next video, which is about content scripts.